convenient right there. You can just hang it from the hood that's open. And then you can go to the car. So now, you'd have your power cord connected, going over to your battery, and here's the end of it. So you'd find a hose to jam this in. Now you can use this for all different systems on your car. You can use it for the cooling system, for the EGR system, for the intake, even for the exhaust, which I'll show you later. If I remove this hose, for example, I could plug this in there and test to see if this hose has any leaks. So that's one example there. Another example is the radiator hose. Let me just tip this down so you can see a little bit better. So I could take this hose off of the radiator and then I can use this piece, which as you see would jam in there just fine. So I could jam that in there and then using the nozzle here, you just connect that in right here like that. And now we can blow air or smoke out the tip there to pressurize this, listen for air leaks or smoke to see the smoke come up. But like I said, there's no real leaks that I have on this vehicle. If you had a vacuum leak, you could try over here, for example, on the intake. All these little vacuum hoses. All these here. You can pull these off and test them using the Ansel smoke machine. Just like that. You stick them into the various hoses and see and you can do that to pretty much any hose you see under the hood of the car. Let's say you got an exhaust leak. What you can do is insert that in there and then fill your exhaust pipe with smoke, look under the vehicle and see where the smoke is coming out of. So that way you'll know, you know, is this going to be a major job or maybe a minor patch? Maybe you can do with some muffler tape or something like that. I was going to use the bladder but this is a uh, three liter engine and it's, I don't wanna, you know, really pump that too much, but this piece fits right in just like that, no problem. And you can now inject your smoke there. And then while you're doing that, you look under the car with a high power flashlight or something like that and you can see where the smoke is coming out. And that way you know where the leak is.